So what's up? You do. It's good to be back. And yeah, part two of Control. If you're new to the channel, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your family. In fact, go on Ancestry.com and share all my content with your whole entire family tree. I would really appreciate it and thank you to those who do. So yeah, um, let's continue with part two. Also, let me know what you think about this game down in the comment section. Have you played it? Um, is this a type of game that um, you want to see more of on the channel? Let me know. In the comment section. Okay, so when we were in the intro... We found out that these can... You can be used for fast travel. And I'm sure we came in here, didn't we? Communications. We're on the right track. Okay, but there's I kinda want to let me check the map. Oh wait a minute. We've got a multimedia here. Oh wait, we've seen those, the floppy disk, yeah, we we watched that. So yeah, if you haven't seen the intro, check it out. You'll find it down the playlist down in the description. Machine God. Machine God. I had a dream and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God. But not the God you know. Or the ones anyone knows. A new god. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet. But the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's butt, a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. <laughs> Just thought about that. Okay. Um, so, there's so many places to essentially visit, so I, I guess we just go through the communications depot and I'm assuming we will eventually see those other places. Uh, toilet break. Oh my god, what's going on here? <laughs> Who's there? Hello? What the... What is that? An object of power. Whoa! What if I reach the object of power to cleanse it? Okay. Energy renewal. Oh, it's a weapon mod too. So... Um, energy gain from headshots. What do I have on here? Reload speed. Yeah. I kind of want to keep keep my reload because oh see see to crouch um 
There's a running for that. Ow. Oh, it didn't get me. Hmm. Oh no, it's blocked off. Maybe down this way? Oh. Yeah, this seems to be the way. Okay, just make sure there's nothing here. to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Hold E. An E for Oh. Well, that's cool. <laughs> you love dance. Oh, it's even got a cooldown on it. Oh, that's cool. Now, will I have to take one of these? Can I jump with them? Yes, I can. Oh no, she's throwing it. Why would she do that? I guess you don't need it. <laughs> what a cool feature. Use the launch to complete the astro. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Give me a little tardy. Ow! Got something for you. You like it? Ow! Don't do that. I guess I have to shoot them as well, don't I? Ah, <laughs> cool. Well, I like this feature. You know. There you are. You were gone. Proceed. Cut off. Abilities such as launch are particularly effective against Just shield. Like right, this will help you this. This is awesome. Hello, Tards. Uh oh. Wait. Is there one still alive? You know, Tardy? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got a sniper or something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so you want to be using that ability against shield. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, I think it disappeared there. Oh, you need to hold it. Um, let's open this first. See what we get. House memory. And collectible. Book club notes for Penny by L. Samson. So I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this was alright. The title, unless you, could refer to a bunch of things. Oops. Could refer to a bunch of things in the book, I guess, but I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters kept throwing it around, almost like a catchphrase, got real annoying real fast. The best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fix uh, fixers, obviously because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers and guns, space hippies, or a badass bunch of warriors who, uh, who go around devouring planets like cheap sushi, uh, <laughs> sushi, sushi on a Sunday, I know who I am picking. That scene where they invade a uh, city planet and convert the entire population using those brain worms and that space dog fight between those two ace pilots, sign me the f up. <laughs> what kind of ruined, um, what kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favourite character got killed not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly. His death didn't feel necessary at all. Two out of five. Case files? Havana Summary? An auditory event occurred at the United States Embassy in Havana, injuring the majority of diplomatic staff stationed there. Redacted. Deaths were reported and the outgoing information has been managed. Event response. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels. But we're too late to witness the AWE, which is reported to have been redacted. Staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. That, uh, this lasted for redacted minutes. No visual phenomena was witnessed, the scene was cordoned off and the embassy staff were transported to the continent, uh, continental US. After Formula 1.9 was, re uh, was recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the Bureau for examination. See case file A185 for details. And this is a floppy disk. I think we read those though. I'm pretty sure we read those. So... Let's go to here, the History Ranger. Summary, the rangers are the bureau's well-trained and well-armed expe uh, expeditionary forces. Their his corrupted counterparts are equi uh, equally formidable. Prior to corruption, rangers were trained to use a variety of weapons in order to face any threat found during AWE response or threshold exploration, including submachine guns, assault rifles, and automatic shotguns. His Rangers utilise these weapons as well as the advanced tactics taught by Bureau instructors. Some are additionally outfitted with the Bureau-made body armour. His Rangers have no observed paranatural abilities beyond some being protected by a shielding of dense His uh, resonance, capable of stopping bullets. Considering the advanced training the His Rangers are capable of applying to their situation, is it feasible to consider the human mind uh, still remains intact to some degree, or is the Hiss able to tap into this combat training and utilise it? Further observation is required. Refer to File Redacted for full report. And let's go to Loadout, and it was in here. Exclusive to Shatter. 
Um, minus recoil, maybe? I'm not entirely sure, but... And proceed through the communications to the mailroom. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mailroom. Emily! Not sure if that's an enemy or not. Launch efficiency? Wait, can I use this to like throw them to get them to I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I think I'm I am supposed to be saving these people, not killing killing them, you know? Wait, what's that all about? Now Oh a clearance. This must open the door. Launch energy cost, so it would take less energy. Hmm. Okay, so let's um, claim this. <sighs> and. I think this is the door we have to go through. So, let's do that. Oh my god! Fly now. Great. Oh my days. Is this a boss or something? Yeah, it's a boss. <laughs> oh no. This is all I need. Um, let's get his health. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm dead. I'm absolutely dead. And there's no health around. <laughs> No. Um. I'm dead. I'm totally dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. No. Okay, give me a second. Well, this one is a knocker. Stepping on the dance, and I just my dance. Everything's scattered. The game cut out, man. <laughs> Hate when games crash.
Hopefully it saved where we were. Okay. Well, that's not too bad, actually. And we got the key. Okay, let's go. Uh. Man, you have to be like really... I guess I have to like shoot him in the head. I know I'm behind and behind here, but I'd... There's nothing else I can do. <laughs> Ow! No! God damn it, man. I nearly had him to... I didn't realise that. Hmm. I guess I have to keep moving around. Oh, damn it. I had him there as well. Okay, they let's go climb. here. Great. Oh my days, he timed that really well, didn't he? Oh no! Well he dropped some health, you know. Very nice. <laughs> Very kind. Where is he? Okay, so headshots seem to be the best option. Me doing this. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. I don't know what to do.
do I have to run around? Maybe I need to run around. I'm standing still too much. It's not like hard or anything like that. It's just um, I'm standing in the same position. I think what I need to do is is go up the stairs. This is what I need to do. Great. Because I keep getting. Okay, when he gets to a certain health, he spawns them in, so... there. I'm stuck. Oh my days, this guy is no joke. Like, the damage. I'm totally dead, I'm totally dead again. I could hear him at my left. Uh, oh my days. Do you know what I need to do? I need to like, change my sensitivity. It is way too high. Way too high. That's what's that's what the problem is. It's too high. I'm not being able to effectively just constantly get damage. I'm missing all the time as well. I'm still missing.
Run for the hills! Run for the hills! Let's go! Look, Tati. Right there. I have a feeling he'll be back. Yeah, he will be. Let's stay focused. Four attempts on that. The line should be past the mail room. Um, should be past the mail room, huh? There's the mail room. Yeah, like your health goes down really fast. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. What is it in here? Yeah, it's in here. Alberto Tomasi, head of com Tomasi ID. Um, summary. His elevated angel, uh, agents display abilities similar to telekinetic compen competencies. Observed in Burrow Parotelar Parotelarians, some prefer to charge their targets while others launch objects at them. Telekinetic attacks have been ineffective against the Hiss Elevated due to their own talent in the area. They do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural capabilities. Some Hiss Elevated have been seen levitating while strapped into chairs. This is likely the result of individuals being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording in Paris parapsychology. Parapsychology. How are they able to use paranatural abilities? It is, it, it is possible that these individuals were bound to objects of power prior to corruption. It's also worth considering that the Hiss resonance can identify and express latent paranatural ability in the individuals it corrupts. Refer file redacted for full report. Tomasi's ID. Bombs. Hmm. The hiss got him. Wait, let me just check round the back here in case there's Yeah, look. A little box. <laughs> Shot a projectile choke. Um, damage. Mm. But I need to, like, unlock things before I can actually add that on. Because I want the reload, because the reload's quite, um... It's not the fastest of reloads. <laughs> Alright, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds at all to that and show up inside a U.S. embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? <laughs> oh dear. Now... Find the hotline object of power. Um... Oh, what's this? Hmm. 
Let's go to... I thought this was the map. I've got a multimedia now. All right, take this down. Oh, that's just the same thing that we had. So, find the hotline object of power. So this was a hotline. Let me just double check here. Alright, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the... Um, case file. Event summary. A spate of disappearances was traced to a home in the city of Boot, where bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord event response bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at redacted uh, redacted redacted which had been connected to a total of redacted disappearances in the area agents found no one inside while searching a closet an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event he disappeared as well both agents were discovered at the oldest house, redacted, days later, found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. The light switch cord in the Butte home closet disappeared during this incident. Ooh, spooky. The hotline can't be far now. Kinda should've went back and saved. <laughs> house memory I don't know if you have to like collect several of, the, of them and then you use them to hotline chamber then you use them for to like get a memory maybe <gasps> what's this it's a case file one Butte Supplement. Details according to their testimony, the agents had been transported from the Butte home to a roadside motel named the Ocean View Motel and Casino and discovered a room key by performing a ritual. See file MOT01. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord, pardon me, found inside this room, they were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the home, home's owner and the other locals of Butte have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in Butte Home have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, redacted, light cords have been found in the oldest house located in the redacted and redacted sectors these all access the ocean view motel through how ex exactly this link operates is redacted but initial uh, hypotheses center on the butte awe as a redacted redacted see dr darling presentation 24.3 for more details right <laughs> getting a little jumpy there aren't you And a research? No. Hotline security log. All visitors must check in. Okay. It's the names of the people that have to check in and what times they have to check in at. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Uh -oh. Green Logic. The Light Switch Court. <laughs> uh oh. Ah! <gasps> oh, my dear.
Jeez. I thought I could, you know. Uh, I don't think I have to fight that again, do I? If I do, I'm going to be... Uh, are you? You have to be kidding right now. Where are you going? Oh my days! Uh, we've got rockets and everything! Uh. And there's still more. Is that them all now? No, there's more. Why is there so many? Unbelievable, man. All because I thought I could walk down there. <laughs> so let's not do that again. Let's just, um, pull the cord and don't do anything else, silly. Overview motel, casino entry point. Oh wow, so you have to no. like... I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like <laughs> all of them, like something recognized from a dream. Hello? I would like a motel, please? A dream? Hello? It's so rude, this motel, isn't it? Where's all the people? I want a room for the night. <laughs> oh. Keys. The key has a black pyramid on it. Okay. Hello? <laughs> Am I going to traverse the ocean motel? 
Um... Okay, so... Is it a certain door? Or do I... Let me double check here. Do I have to go back and hit this light again? I think it's probably one of these doors, isn't it? Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> Someone's calling. <laughs> Okay, another one of these astro plane challenges. Hey, what the? The hotline will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities. Or call it? Hotline will allow you to go. I better not die going down here. Ah! Okay. Might have um, told me exactly what I had to do there. <laughs> like, I was shooting at it, but it should at least tell me as a first time experience on it what I have to do to it Was I supposed to, like... Am I supposed to avoid it? I guess I have to avoid it. Yeah, okay. Someone's ringing the goddamn phone! <laughs> Hello! It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. 
the only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. But, uh... I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. Let me go to the collectibles. Um. Oh. Um. Okay. I need to get back to. And one more. Multimedia. That's just. Ring, ring. It's Doctor Darling calling. <laughs> that was the one we just watched there. Hotline. Containment procedure. Objects should be inaccessible for use except to the director. Description. Object is a 1960s era red bakelite. Telephone. The rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of unknown purpose. The phone weighs redacted. The object allows the director to communicate with the redacted if used by anyone other than the director. The object will cause lethal direct, uh, redacted. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.6 for more information. The object is currently bound to director trench. Background. The object spontaneously manifested in the director's office placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. A battery of tests were run on the object, including redacted and redacted, but its origin remains unknown. Did I get any? Okay. A launch energy. So I have to upgrade, I think, to unlock more react slots to when I tell them about you. add more abilities. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Emily! Um... Where? How do I don't know how to get back to Emily? Executive boardroom. You got to be kidding. Is there more? It's that what you're doing? Okay. Oh, this guy. Okay. Is he? Oh, 
Okay. Slowly getting used to the combat a little bit more. Um. The question is now is... Knowing my way around the map. So... We... Came from... Oh. Oh, it's just a bin. Super dark in here as well, isn't it? Wait a minute, what's... Okay, let's see, like, fast travel. Ah. I didn't mean to do that. Where's this going to take me now? Oh, it took me to Emily. <laughs> awesome. I guess I did the right thing there. <laughs> Jessica, Emily! Did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? Oh, wait, I need Sorry. to read this. You made it. Oops. I'm glad. Emily. I'm glad too. Let's talk. Of course. <laughs> Collectibles. Research. Initial impressions. Summary. Initial encounters with the entity known as the hiss have revealed various behavioural facts. Most notably, the Hiss is able to invade or corrupt control points, altered items, and even humans, radically changing their behaviour. Curiously, any person wearing one of the wearable HRA devices that Dr. Darlin has been distributing over the past weeks was not affected by this corruption. The only known exception to this fact is the new director, Jesse Faden, who possesses an inherent immunity to the Hiss. This could indicate that she has already been corrupted by her behaviour is so in contrast to that of the other hiss that I have dismissed the theory. My final observation comes from Mrs. Faden herself. She is able to cleanse material and organisms of the hiss corruption. We tested this ability on a hiss corrupted entity but unfortunately the process seems to kill the host. Perhaps the host psychology um, yeah, psychology becomes re um, reliant on the hiss. More work to be done. Refer to file redacted for full report. Okay. And let's talk to Emily now. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation. You are doing phenomenally well, and all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. I if you agree, that is. L we could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override.
Unknown caller. Directoral override. Upgrade and unlock new abilities from the nearest control point. So let's do that. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Toggle is... Like it's coming from the okay, yeah. now I know what the map is. <laughs> you mean like in person? In person. Okay. Abilities. I definitely want more health. Oh. And that costs... Hmm... Supposed launch damage as well. What are these? And 10% for the energy. Guess I can hold on and just launch grenades and rockets back at enemies. Oh, hello. <laughs> and these are like the energy ones and then melee attack. So let's just keep those two points, I think. And... Shatter hi uh, has high stopping power with Scattershot that devastates grouped enemies at close range. Um, weapon mods? Ammo refund chance, 70%. Oh, these are mods that I'm making. Personal mods. I don't know what I'm... So I need money for the... So I went and upgraded there. <laughs> Janitor's assistant? Oh wow, look at that. That one's cool. Ultra response. Office assistant. That one's cool. I like that one. Look at this. It looks awesome, doesn't it? <laughs> cool. Let's click on that so that it saves. And yeah, I'm going to leave it here for part two. If you want more of Control, let me know down in the comment section. In fact, let me know what you think about the game down in the comment section. Um, I'm kind of having fun with it. So yeah, let me know what you think about it. And as always, take it easy. Have a good one. And... Goodbye! Well, this one is a knocker. Stepping on the dance and I just my dance. Everything scattered. Right?
Like a bandit, we bring the flame like a mattress. Let's meet up, but don't let's 